So what are some of the reversal chart patterns that you want to know, right, to prepare for a potential reversal in a stock? So it could be a stock that's been moving up a couple of months, a couple of years, and we see that pattern, and that's where we could potentially start to reverse down. And you want to be prepared if you see this pattern because you don't want to hold on all the way down because you know there are signs of weakness when we see patterns like this and same thing right if we see a stock come like moving down and down a couple of months couple of years and we see kind of like a bullish reversal pattern the chart pattern that is where you can potentially start to time your entry to get into right the upwards reversal so what is this reversal pattern that we're talking about today well it is none other than this pattern called the head and shoulders trading pattern right so this is kind of the very popular pattern that people use for revokes so in this video we'll be looking at the head and shoulders pattern so there are two types right the head and shoulders is one whereby we look at the reversal from an upwards direction to down and there's what we call another type which is just simply the opposite that's called the inverse head and shoulder pattern so i'll talk about these two patterns we look at some case studies to see uh, what we could potentially look out for all right what are some of the things that we, we can focus on and you know how can we see if this pattern is indeed complete uh, you know to to see the reversal whether is it up or down right so make sure you watch this video all the way to the end if you want to know how to use the head and shoulder pattern to catch big moves all right for reversal all right so let's go on right now so let me explain to you what is the head and shoulder pattern so let me just draw it for you right here all right so head and shoulder pattern will be something like this so let's just focus on the one whereby it's a reversal from an upwards direction to a downwards So I've drawn what we call a head and shoulder pattern right here that looks something like this. So in an uptrend, a stock will move up, down, up, down. It will not just go up every single time. Sometimes you'll see a bit of a pullback. It might start to find a new high. It might start to consolidate and pull back again, right? And oftentimes, you know, when we do see a reversal patterns like this, this head and shoulder pattern in the in right at a peak, that's where you want to be careful because there could be a potential reversal, especially if there are signs of the trend turning down as well. So this is the head and shoulder pattern that we're gonna look out for right over here. So let me explain to you. You can see that this is what we call the head right over here. Right, this is the head. Let me just put it in red in color right here. So this is the head, which is kind of like the peak, right? The peak that has gone up to and came back down. And we have what we call a left shoulder here, right over here. So this is the left shoulder, and this is what we call the right shoulder. And we have in a head and shoulder pattern what we call a support or a neckline. Some people call it a neckline support. That's fine. All right. So we can draw this horizontal support levels right here. So you can see that you know as it starts to push up, you know on the left side and it moves up, swing down, swing up, swing down. So it's pretty good, right? Pretty good. Start to push up right over here. You know, in fact, you know, if you were to look at it. At this point in time right over here it still looks quite good right and in terms of the you know potential upside it still looks quite good because the head and shoulder pattern has not formed up yet but if you were to let it form up a bit more and we, we play out like somewhere around there here right and we have this right shoulder that comes up i would say that that is a kind of like a confirmation that well this head and shoulder pattern has started to form we got a right shoulder which is pretty much in line with this left shoulder so the left and right shoulder sometimes it can be the same sometimes one can be higher than the other but the point here is that the right shoulder this right shoulder all right must be lower than the head than the peak right here so this meaning would just means that you know as it pushes up right higher highs higher highs higher highs so as it moves up it's good we form what we call higher highs higher lows right but as it started to retrace back down you can see as we touch this support level and it rebounds back up you know it rebounds just by a little bit maybe same as the left shoulder you don't actually go back up to the peak or maybe even go higher it just rebounds by a little bit and sellers came back to start pushing it back down so that is a sign of weakness right especially when we see this head and shoulder pattern because you know the meaning of it would be like you know as it rebounds back up you know sellers can't kind of like get back earlier all right and do not allow prices to push higher and it kind of like sell down and price start to hit lower all right and the key here is this right when people trade the head and shoulder pattern what you want to do is that you don't want to guess because sometimes you might just you know head down and it might you might rebound from the support as well this neckline support level so what you want to see is that you want to see this 
support broken right over here right over here so if only when you see this support broken this neckline right based on this head and shoulder pattern broken that is a much firmer confirmation right that this head and shoulder pattern has played out he has completed and that's why we could potentially start to see more weakness or more downside especially right if there are signs of the trend turning down just by looking at the moving averages and all that i mean we're not talking about trend right now but just by looking at this pattern combined with other things like the moving averages the trend turning down that is where you want to be careful especially you have got in right yes you, know, you see this pattern you want to have a plan to either reduce some exposure to get out all right, because when you see this pattern right at the peak, especially if we see quite a huge run up, that's where you know we could see you know it coming down and down and down and lower, and you don't want to be caught holding on to stocks like this. All right, so this is pretty much the head and shoulder pattern. So later we we'll look at the inverse head and shoulder pattern. That is pretty much opposite, and that's a good one. That's for you know for like a downtrend to an uptrend, kind of like to catch the reversal back up, and that's where you want to position yourself to ride it. But in this case, for a head and shoulder pattern. You want to be careful, especially if it breaks this neckline support, especially if you look at the volume as well. Some things we look at would be like the volume, the trend, and all these all points towards a downward direction with strong volume as it breaks the support. That's where you want to be careful. You want to reduce your exposure. All right, so this is the head and shoulder pattern. So let's go ahead to look at this case study right here to see if there are actually any head and shoulder patterns. So let me just go ahead to, to remove all these things right here. All right, and we can look at this stock right here called equities uh, bank shares right i think it's those a financial holding company in the us okay and it's trading at about like 29.64 so let me just go to draw this horizontal support level right so this is what i do so you want to have like a kind of like a support level where you draw you know many times it touches it rebounds so put that line out right so that you know where is like very very key support so in this case i would say that the support level will be about that 28 dollars whereby it has rebounded a couple of times Okay, let me just put this in green in color right here over the past like you know two years rebounded a couple of times and we have rebounded again and now we are kind of like nearing this support so why i want to show you this is that you know there could be what we call a head and shoulder pattern starting to form even though it has been kind of like consolidating sideways over the past two years right but it's not really like moving up and up let me see this pattern not really it's kind of like consolidating but there are indeed some signs of a head and shoulder pattern you know being seen right just like showing you just now so where is the head let me just draw it for you you can see that this is potentially what we call the head you can see this is like the peak whereby it touched around that 38 37 dollars and this is what we call the left shoulder remember the left shoulder whereby you know it kind of like pushes to a certain price level it goes back down to near the neckline and rebounded back up to a peak and what was that we started to head down and hit it back to this neckline support and we saw a little bit of a rebound by this could be what we call the right shoulder the right shoulder so this is potentially what we call a hit and shoulder pattern which has not played out yet right so you don't want to rush because basically the pattern can only play out if we were to break that neckline support so what would be the neckline support well that would be that 28 dollars like i mentioned right here so you can see it rebounded it rebounded right this is a hit and shoulder pattern just I'm like you know forming it still has not completed yet all right in fact we can actually go to 28 and rebound from it back to 32 right that, that could actually happen i mean in terms of the downside so we don't want to guess we don't want to just uh think about like you know just shorting over here because you know we, we guess that all oh, this is a hit and shoulder pattern it will definitely play out it will definitely break the 28 dollars and you want to short and you just write the downside and, and profit from it no because you know it can actually hit lower and we might see a rebound from here just like what has happened over the past two years it can actually rebound from here a couple of times it might hit to 32 and then come back down again right only when we get the confirmation like you know if we were to kind of like hit to this support level again and we might see a bit of a rebound but it breaks down it breaks down this 28 neckline support based on this head and shoulder pattern well that is where potentially the downside can happen right this head and shoulder pattern would be completed and that's where you want to be careful you definitely want to plan to reduce your exposure when you see this pattern and it breaks a key neckline support you can go from 28 to 27 26 25 and that's where you want to be careful especially if a counter like this has gone up by a lot all right and right at the peak you see some weakness you see a head and shoulder pattern you want to be careful right even if it's not gone up a lot it's been consolidating and you see this pattern you also want to be careful right especially if it stays below 
and it breaks and stays below this support level. All right, so this is what we call the head and shoulder pattern. So let me move on to the opposite of that, which would be what we call the inverse head and shoulder pattern. All right, so let's take a look at the inverse head head and shoulder pattern, which is pretty much opposite to the other one we talked about, right? So in this case, it will be a reversal from a downwards direction to an upwards direction. So when you see patterns like this, especially if, you know, a stock has come down and down, it's been trading down and lower and lower, you see patterns like this, that is where it could be a good indication where, you know, we could potentially see a reversal back up. You could start to think about getting in, you know, to time your entry to write the reversal, the upside and the uptrend eventually if that happens, right? So that is what we call the inverse head and shoulder pattern to think about buying, all right, in counters like this, if you see patterns like this, all right? So how does it work? So basically an inverse head and shoulder pattern would be something like this. The stock has, you know, come like headed down, swing up, swing down, swing down, swing up, swing down. So a bit of a downtrend, right? Form what we call um, lower, low. So this is a low, the low, the low, right? So, you know, on the left side, it's kind of like hitting lower and lower. And at this point in time, if you're just looking at the left part, it could be just bearish. It could be in a downtrend. And that's where the pattern has not formed up yet. But somewhere around here, you can see that as we headed down and down and we form what we call the peak, right, in terms of the bottom, right, the bottom right here, and it kind of like touched this level, it rebounded, and it went back to this, uh, what we call a resistance level. So let me go ahead to draw this resistance level line right here. So this is what we call a resistance, whereby, you know, it kind of like touched a couple of times, it comes back down, right? So in this case, you can see that the left shoulder will be something right over here. So in this point in time, on the left shoulder, right, for this, inverse head and shoulder when we see this left shoulder it's not very clear right it could it's still forming what we call lower lows right in fact the next low was even lower the peak right but where would be that sign whereby you know buyers are starting to come back well that would be at the right shoulder right over here at the right shoulder right especially if you know you can see that we hit it to this resistance level and that's where selling can come back again just like what we saw here selling came back went down selling came back went back down but as it hits lower and lower and lower somewhere in the middle point or the one quarter or the one third mark buyer starts to come back right so that's the sign of weakness because it didn't actually go lower right same like the peak or maybe even lower than the peak right it just went down a little bit and buyers came back and start to buy up and buy and prices started to rebound rebound and eventually right here where we get the confirmation of this inverse head and shoulder pattern completing right that would be right here as it breaks that key all right neckline resistance level so this is what we call a horizontal resistance level but in this case if it's an inverse head and shoulder pattern you can call it a neckline resistance and if that happens if that breaks that is where it's a very good sign of this reversal starting to happen from a down to an upwards direction especially if it breaks above this neckline resistance and it stays above this you know new support level so this resistance will now turn to be what we call a support level and that's where upsides can be drawn all the way up as the reversal start to play out in the upwards direction so that is what we call an inverse head and shoulder pattern right whereby you know you do see right at the end uh, right at the you know, bottom of a stock it's been trading lower you see this these are all good signs of a reversal starting to happen and of course you want to look at other factors like the trend like the moving averages this all adds up all these are what we call the confluence of factors pointing towards the right direction pointing towards the reversal then great even better especially if you see this inverse head and shoulder pattern all right so let me just go ahead to remove all this all right and Let's take a look at what we call this case study right at the bottom right here. So, you know, there's this stock that have came into my watch list right over here. And I've kind of like spotted what we call a head and shoulder, an inverse head and shoulder pattern that I've just mentioned, right? So this is what we call the left shoulder. You can see right over here and rebounded. We went to this resistance, came back down. And in fact, there could be another um, left shoulder as well, if you want to call it, right? So it, sometimes it could be like two or three left shoulder. It could be multiple shoulders as well, but yeah. This, the, the point here is that you know, as it rebounds, went to this level and it sold off, went back to this resistance. So that is the peak, right? The head right over here. So this is like the bottom, right? The lowest point at about the 120 mark and started to see a bit of rebound. So up to this point, there's still not much confirmation of this inverse head and shoulder, right? Only when we see this right shoulder, you can see that it started to, to kind of like trade it back to this 
resistance level this is the neck line resistance which is about that 1.65 level and we rebounded a little bit so this could be what we call a right shoulder this could be what we call a right shoulder whereby it kind of like rebounded right traded upwards went down retrace back down and you can see buyers starting to come back and push it back up and why is this uh, in my watch this is because you can see that this neckline resistance as i mentioned we want to wait for that break of this neckline resistance for more confirmation you don't want to just rush and think that you will reverse like you know it's not like buying over here or buying over here or buying over here because sometimes it might just kind of like you know go up to here and then sell down and it might start to just come back down again that could what that can, can actually potentially happen right because you know it still has not completed it's still you know below that main neckline resistance level right so what you want to do is you want to wait for that completion of the pattern in this case the inverse head and shoulder pattern so as it breaks that neckline resistance level like what we see over here so over the past week you can see that we are kind of like attempting to break this neckline resistance level so there could be a sign all right we need more confirmation because we need like a few days but i think if we can stay above this 165 level that is potentially where the reversal can start to happen all the way higher towards the next upside which could be what we call the next resistance level maybe around here you can see that's where we saw some selling about the 190 so it's about like more than 12 to 13 14 percent upside based on this inverse head and shoulder pattern if it starts to play out if we stay above that neckline resistance turn support level right so it's going to give you guys a, a kind of case, case study right so you more or less understand and as i mentioned right you want to look at a few things right not just this pattern by itself you look at a few things like maybe some candlestick you know look at a few things like the trend are there any changes in terms of the trend or like the moving averages the trend indicators starting to turn up all that can all point to a reversal as well we get many of those factors pointing to an upwards reversal that would be better that, that's where it's harder to go wrong if there's many things pointing towards the direction that you want it to go does it make sense? All right. So this is um, an inverse head and shoulder pattern. All right, guys. So there we have it. I hope we now have a clearer idea of how to use the head and shoulder pattern. All right. And even the inverse head and shoulder pattern. You kind of like, you know, how to see whether the pattern is completed. All right. Whether to gauge whether it's in an upwards reversal to downwards reversal or down to up. And you know what pattern to actually look out for. So if you like this video, you found some value in it, go ahead to give me a like, smash the subscribe button as well that would definitely help out the channel and thank you so much for doing this right so yeah that will really help and if you're gonna get some of our ideas much faster by whatsapp make sure you click on the link just around this video or below it find out how you can become a client of mine in philip securities whereby we do share some of those ideas much faster by whatsapp on a daily basis at no additional cost to you especially if you're trading online on your own uh, not much service from a broker no ideas no videos no training no whatsapp then you want to come aboard right so joby here Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to see you in the next video. Take care.